Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jerry Bear Tactical. We are back down here on the Freedom Bench. So today's video is going to be all about making a do-it-yourself chip catcher for the Little Crow Gunworks World's Finest Trimmer. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to show you how it works. Unscrew this. Unscrew the cap. We're going to take the trimmer. Once you have your trimmer all set up for the specific length that you want to use it for, okay, you're going to take the trimmer and you're going to drop it inside just like so. Put your finger on the end here. You're going to take your cap. You're going to take the cap and stick it through the end mill. And screw that down nice and tight, like so. And then this is going to chuck up in your in the drill, like this. Okay. Chuck up in the drill, and there's no wobble in this. Okay. And it's going to run just like so. Okay. So we can take our case. In this instance, 300 blackout. I like to trim in the downward position, okay? You can also use it in the this position, okay? You could even use it in this position if you're using it on a drill press, okay? I'm going to show you how to make this. And it's very simple, okay? So we are going to take a measurement with my dial calipers here. We're going to measure the inside of this. And we get one inch, one. Let's see what it's going to be. We'll just call it one inch, one hundred and ninety thousandths. Okay. That's the... Now, the circumference of this is 1 inch 74, 75 thousandths. So you have clearance when you put this in. So when this is spinning, your chips, if you do it this way, have room to fall down and into the bottom of the cap. So when you're done trimming for the day, you just take the cap off. Pull the cap out, dump your chips over the trash. You're going to do this all over the trash. Dump out all your chips. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a 20 ounce bottle of Gatorade. You can pick these Gatorade bottles up at any retail store that sells beverages, gas stations, uh, convenience stores, what have you. You want the 20 ounce bottle. I'll show you the top of this and you see that little tiny dimple right there. Okay, That is where the drill bit is going to go. So we like to use our safety glasses. We will put those on. We're going to take our drill. We're going to take the drill bit and we're using a 3 8 drill bit. 3 8 drill bit is 0.375. Chuck this up into the drill. Screw your cap tight onto the bottle. You're going to take the drill bit, we are going to find this, that dimple, okay, and we're just going to slowly drill into this plastic cap, right down and out, take the drill bit out, lay that aside, put your drill down over here. Take any chips of plastic chips off. We're going to take this off. We're going to take our chamfering tool. 
we are going to chamfer the top of this. Okay, we're going to take our chamfering bit and chamfer the bottom of the hole. Get that hole nice and clean. Looks good. Perfect. Okay. Now we will put the cap back on there for the time being. Our next step is we have to cut this bottle down. So this top groove right here we need our razor knife. Extend that blade out just enough. We're going to set the bottle down on its side. We're going to poke that razor blade into the bottle and you see how that knife falls right into that channel you just that's all we're going to do is walk this bottle around until it cuts it off we end up with two pieces this piece right here is trash and we end up with this okay now you can see there's a little bit of flashing here okay this is where our pair of scissors comes into play. And you take your pair of scissors, and that's all you're going to do is we're going to try to trim this as flat as possible all the way around. Just like so, you end up with a piece like this, and it looks relatively flat. This trash. Next step, we're going to take this, and I'm just going to wipe this out real quick. We're going to take the trimmer, we're going to stick it in the hole like so. We are going to put the end mill through the hole, tighten the cap up. We are going to, to grab the drill again. We are going to chuck it back up in the drill, tighten it down. It has got a little bit of wobble to it. Okay, so we are going to take one of these sanding pads right here. You can pick these sanding pads up at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, um, it's for sanding drywall. Okay, and that's basically all we're going to do is take that sanding pad and we are going to turn the drill on. We are going to sand this until we get a nice, smooth, flat surface. Shouldn't take too long to do. Okay. Now, we're going to take this to the sanding block. We're just going to sand the edge, bring it up and around, and get the inside nice and smooth. We're going to take an emery board, I stole this from my wife, don't tell her, and we're going to do the same thing to the edge. And we're going to finish sanding this nice and smooth. Okay, take it out of the drill chuck, we're going to put the drill aside. Take this cap off, and now we have all this dust. We just take this, wipe this dust out. This edge is now nice and smooth. Okay, we'll drop our world's finest trimmer back in there, put the cap back on it, chuck it back up in the drill. And that's it. Voila, you're done. Now you can take your case and trim. Your fingers aren't in the way, it doesn't get in the way of your hands, and you can see what you're doing because it's clear. You want to stand the drill up on its side, you can do it this way as well. It's going to catch all your chips, okay? It's not going to make a bloody mess and 
You can even do it downwards if you'd like, if you have it chucked up in a drill press, okay? All your chips are gonna fall straight down, okay? Quick, simple, and painless. That's how it's done. Pull this out real quick and show you one more time what it looks like. Okay, that's the finished product. Gatorade bottle, 20 ounce. Nice and simple, nice and easy. When you're done for the day, take this apart over a garbage can, empty all your chips, drop this out, tap it, get all your chips out, clean up as a cinch. Now you don't have brass shavings flying all over your bench. Okay? Guys, that's all I got for you. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this content. If you do, please smash that thumbs up button. Please share, like, and subscribe. And like I always tell you guys, my name's Jerry Bear Tactical, and I hope to see you out on that firing line. Later.